Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial, Pearl Through the Back Loop. Supplies today, yarn and straight needles. So here I have a little swatch of stockinette and we used this for the knitting through the back loop tutorial. So you can see the row um, of twisted stitches created by the knitting through the back loop. So now let's purl through the back loop. So normally when you purl, you would go through the front of the stitch, right through the front leg. But when you're going to purl through the back loop, you're going to put the needle in through the back leg. And then just purl through the stitch. You're just using the opposite leg, which creates a twisted stitch. So again, we're going to take the needle in through the back loop. Now it's going to be a little tight because it's twisting the stitch in the same amount of space that a regular stitch would have taken. So not through the front. It can be a little fiddly, especially with these big blunt needles. So there you go through the back of the stitch and it's much easier with a needle with a good point on it. And again, through the back of the stitch and then just purl and pull the stitch off. Very fiddly with these big needles. I'd only do this for you. And then purl the stitch off. So I've worked up a couple of rows. So you can see this bottom row here was knitted through the back, through the back loop. And the row above here, right there, is the row that was purled through the back loop. It creates exactly the same twist. And basically the back leg is now the front. So this can be part of your design element to create texture. Well, these four all have their front legs in the front and the back legs in the back. Come visit us soon at planetpearl.com.